Ubi caritas et amor. Ubi caritas Deus ibias. Ubi caritas et Caritas Deus Ibias Ubi Caritas Et Amor Ubi Caritas Deus Eighteen and Matthew. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. You probably I, you. I know that you know You're the welcome. Bible so much You're better welcome. than I do. So I'll come. Well, yeah, we're well, all learning together. Yes, you're right. We're learning that's, together. That's yeah, very humble of you. Jesus. We're following Jesus. So he's telling us what to do and to do the right thing. So you're welcome. Thank you, Kim. It just happens. So. It yeah. leads you different things. So it just tells you what to do. So I think it'll work out, you know. You all get used to it eventually. But it's different. So you just have to. Kim, you're a pretty. great encourager. Me? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you're you. welcome. You're welcome. Well, you know, I have another story I want to share um, to go with our scripture passage it kind of supplements it in a way and it comes from um, some books that we might be familiar with from uh, an author named A. A. Milne and these are the Winnie the Pooh books and um, and there's a, a story that um, includes an exchange between uh, Winnie the Pooh and his his beloved friend Piglet. So I want to read this conversation for you. Um, and I think it, um, it'll bring us into our theme really nicely today of community. Say Pooh, why aren't you busy? Said Piglet. Because it's a nice day, Pooh replied. But you could be doing something important, said Piglet. Well, I am, said Pooh. Oh, doing what? asked Piglet. Listening, replied Pooh. Listening to what? asked Piglet. To the birds and that squirrel over there, said Pooh. Well, what are they saying? asked Piglet. That it's a nice day, said Pooh. But you already know that, replied Piglet. Yes, but it's always good to hear that someone else thinks so too. So our theme today on our Lenten journey calls us to reflect on the way that community is one of the foundations or roots of joy. And I, I love this exchange between Winnie the Pooh and his friend Piglet for, for different reasons. But in this simple conversation, 
between two friends, we can see that Winnie is pausing to notice that it's a nice day. But what also strikes me in this back and forth between them is that Winnie feels a deep sense of joy knowing that his enjoyment of the day is shared with the other creatures who live in the forest with him, the birds and the squirrels. There's something about the joy uh, being shared together in something that we have in common that is not only fun, but it's also bonding and it roots us. It kind of, in our, you know, our theme of rooted in joy, it kind of creates this network of roots that binds us together. At the Red House, we have been worried about our friend, Michael, who has been in and out of the hospital for the last couple of months. I think I have a picture of Michael to share. Michael really missed being at home. He would ask us not to leave him alone in the hospital. He could barely swallow. And it was hard to watch Mike struggle. And we felt his absence in the house. And when the doctors finally figured out what was making Michael sick, he got the treatment he needed and began the slow journey of recovery. Slowly, we started to see the spike, the spark in Michael come back. His eyes started to focus again. He began to say words that we recognized. His sense of humor, his quirky sense of humor started to come back. Michael finally was well enough to come home for a couple of weeks. But still Michael had some recovery to do. He came home, but he was still weak. He could barely hold up his head and he could only eat foods that were mushed up for him to swallow. It had been more than a week um, that I had been at the Red House and I was missing the house and wondering how, how Michael was doing in his recovery. I hadn't seen Michael in a while. And so one of our housemates responded when I asked through a chat how Michael was doing. They responded by sharing this video. And I don't know if this is personal to me because I'm connected to the Red House, but I squealed with joy when I saw Michael sitting in front of his favorite action movie, picking up that fork and eating one of his favorite foods, French fries, which are quite crunchy and require a lot of chewing. And it was this moment of joy that I shared with everyone at the Red House. It was this simple moment, but it was shared. And as complex as day-to-day -day life gets in any of our homes, we are called to pause, kind of like Winnie the Pooh, and notice. Notice the moments that remind us that we are more than our struggles, that we are more than our pain, that we are more than our disappointments in life. And when we share these moments, they ground us in the truth that we are connected and that we belong to one another and that we are God's beloved community. 
Today is March 21st. It is also World Down Syndrome Day. And in 2012, the United Nations declared that on this day, we are to honor and celebrate members of our community who have Down syndrome. So I wanna finish this short reflection with a, with a little video that is um, meant to honor our friends. And let's... In the Lord I'll be ever thankful, in the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid, lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful, in the Lord I will rejoice. 
look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near.